Hello everybody. Hope you're doing well this afternoon. When you're working as a safety manager, you may end up in a workplace where there are multiple machines operating simultaneously. Now each of those machines will produce an individual sound level, but when all of those machines are running at the same time, it will create or produce a combined sound pressure level. And what I want to show you in this video tutorial is a formula and a method we can use to calculate the combined sound pressure level of multiple machines. But there, there's, one, there's one caveat to this. This formula, this method, only can be used, it's only appropriate, if all of the machines individually are producing the same sound level. If each machine produces a different sound level, there's a different method, a different formula that needs to be used. And we'll look at that other method uh, in another video tutorial. In this particular tutorial, we're just looking at the method for calculating the combined sound pressure level when each machine is producing the same sound level, the same number of decibels. Now let's go ahead and look at the problem, the practice problem we have here, the problem I have for illustrating this method. Okay, what is the combined sound pressure level from five identical machines if each machine is producing 85 decibels? Go ahead and start by writing out your formula. And I'm going to go ahead and write this out, and then I'll go back and explain what everything means. And I'm spacing everything out to distinguish the different parts of the formula here. But uh, SPL with a subscript TOT, that's for sound pressure level total. Uh, you could use sound pressure level combined, but normally when you see this formula, it's SPL with a subscript TOT. But that's what we're calculating, the combined sound level or the total sound level produced by these five machines. Uh, SPL individual is the sound level produced by an individual machine. In this problem, it's 85 decibels. 10 is a constant. It will be the same number every time we use this formula. Log is a mathematical function that we'll, that we'll use during the calculation. And n is the number of machines. We have five identical machines, so n equals 5 in this particular example. So let's go ahead and plug in our numbers and start doing some calculations. Okay, for SPL individual, we can plug in 85. And pardon my penmanship, I'm not the, I don't have the, the, the uh, nicest writing style. Okay, five, five is the number of machines, so that's N. The sound pressure of an individual machine is 85, so that's why we have 85 here. Everything else is, is, stays the same. There's not a lot of numbers that we have to enter into this formula. So let's go to the next iteration. And I like to, to, to make sure you understand what's going on at each step. I like to write everything out. And I encourage you when you're taking the ASP exam or when you're doing this in the workplace to write everything out. In this iteration, all we're going to do is the log of 5. Take the logarithm of 5. And I usually use the TI-30 calculator for these types of calculations. It's a simple, easy to use scientific calculator, but I don't have an app for the TI-30 calculator. So I'm gonna use the Windows 10 scientific calculator to do these calculations. And if you find yourself in the same situation, uh, you need to use the Windows 10 scientific calculator. Everything is kind of the reverse of using the TI-30. But to find the logarithm of 5, we enter 5 and then the logarithm key, and it gives us our logarithm. With the TI-30, it's just the opposite. You enter log, then enter 5, and then it will give you the, logarith or the logarithm value. But uh, the logarithm of 5 is right here in our calculator readout, 0 0.6989, and then just a, a decimal uh, 
value that goes on forever. But we're just going to round this to 7. We're going to round this to 0.7. So the logarithm of 5 is 0.7. And I'm going to go ahead and put parentheses, parentheses around that just to distinguish it from the 10. Um, so our next iteration, and a lot of the math here you can do in your head with this particular example problem, but I recommend you be, be careful doing, doing the math in your head. Uh, it's real easy to make a mistake. It's easy to make a mistake with a calculator. You enter the wrong number uh, in your calculator. It's, gonna, it's gonna, going to affect the result. Uh, but we want 10 times 0.7, which you already know what that is, but let me do it in the calculator. And just like you thought, 10 times 0.7 is 7. And we're almost there. We have one more iteration. In that iteration, all we're doing is adding 85 and 7. Which again, I almost wrote it in because it's, it's an easy calculation, but I want you to get into the habit of using the tool, the calculator that you have available to you. 85 plus 7 equals 92. Ninety-two decibels is the combined sound pressure level produced by these five machines. And that's it. Pretty easy formula to use. Can be handy. You may need it in the workplace and you may see it when you take ASP CSP certification exams. Alright, I'm going to, to leave it there. If you have any questions, let me know. We can talk more about it in class. Uh, if you need any assistance using your particular model of calculator, we can also work on that in class. Alright, thank you.